Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual sim racer and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install Project Cars 2 mods into the game. I hope this video tutorial will be helpful. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I can't guarantee I'll be able to help you, but I will try my best to help any issues that I see that I may have heard of a solution to or just generally point you in the right direction, at least to the best of my ability. Well, let's dive into this. So step one, we're going to want to go to your Project Cars 2 directory. This is going to be located where you, you've installed Steam. And so you're going to want to go to your local disk in which Steam is installed. In my case, it is installed in D drive. That is because I have two hard drives. Most of the time, Steam's going to be installed in C drive. So whichever drive it's located in, go there. Then you're going to click on Program Files x86. Then you're going to click on Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and there you're going to locate the Project Cars 2 folder. Once you're within the Project Cars 2 folder, you're going to want to then download, then copy and paste all the contents of the JSGME subfolder. This is linked down below. You're going to get this from Race Department. You're going to see five different things within the JSGME folder, subfolder. And the subfolder, so make sure to click within the JSGME zip folder, and you are going to move those five different contents into the Project Cars 2 folder. This has now created a new mods folder, as you can see, and so you're going to want to click on that and go to that new folder. You are then going to want to download and place the boot files for Project Cars 2 version 7.0 into the mods folder. This I've also linked down below. So you will download these files and then you will now copy the files for the respective mod into the mods folder. Now you're going to want to go back to the respective mod that you want to transfer in. There should be a readme file. You are going to then open that. Now go to the boot files for Project Cars 2. Then go to the folder that says Vehicles, and then open the Vehicle List text file. And now copy and paste from the README file of the mod you are installing the correct text line as stated within the README file. So you can see here I copy, and then I paste that into the appropriate Vehicle List text file. Now, once you've done that, go back to Boot Files for Project Cars 2 version 7.0, then go to Physics, then go to Driveline, then open the Driveline text file. Copy and paste from the README file the mod you are installing. The correct text line is stated within the README file. Once you've done that, close and save the text file. Now go back to the Project Cars 2 folder. There, open JSGME. You're going to want to activate all add-on cars, all mod cars first with JSGME before finally activating the boot files. This will cause less trouble. Therefore, in the future, whenever you need to add a new mod, all you need to do is deactivate the boot files and leaving your previously add-on mod cars activated. So as you can see, I'm going to activate the Mazda and then I'm going to activate the add-on files. If I was to add an additional mod in the future, I would just deactivate the add-on files, add the new mod, and then reactivate the add-on files last. Now we're going to boot ourselves into the game. As you can see here, I've done a little bit of a time jump, but as you can see, we've booted into the game. 
and you can see the Mazda 787B. There you are going to see it working. It looks a little bit different with the angle of the photograph they've used. This helps you to distinguish it as being a mod. I think that's kind of helpful. And if we boot up, this will work as an AI card. There's usually there's two liveries. So if you don't use it, there's the potential for two different Mazda 787s Bs to be in used by the AI during a race. Or if you use one, then the other one may show up in the race, depending on how many AI you'll be racing against. We're going to go race this at Le Mans. Just take a quick one lap. As you can see, it is working. And I hope this has been helpful and gives you some good direction on how to install Project Cars 2 mods. Please enjoy the rest of this quick one lap race with the Mazda 787B. And of course, most of all, I hope you all have a great rest of your week.